Hello everyone, welcome to Trending India Products. Today I'm going to upgrade SSD to my laptop. Also, I'm going to keep my old HD in this laptop only by using HDD Caddy. This one I bought Samsung 860U SSD 250GB. I bought this product in Amazon. First, let's unbox this product. We have a seal here. It's empty. There's nothing inside this box. Owner's manual. This owner's manual having a seal. It's strange. Here is our main device. Samsung solid state drive. This is the one. It's very slim guys. So actually my plan is to install this SSD into this uh, laptop main drive and my HDD into this uh, HDD caddy. We need to remove this flap now what we have to do is we have to remove the CD drive to remove the CD drive we need to remove this screw now we need to drag this like this simple came out we have to remove this thing and we need to fix there this cap we need to remove it and fix to this to remove this cap we need to insert a pin in this hole and then we need to open it like this and here there is a lock you can see here we need to press it and release that first like this this one fitted here cloning the operating system into ssd from a hdd is not possible for me because the mini tool partition is asking for money guys to do cloning work so what i have decided is i will reinstall the os from the zero so now what i have to do is as you guys know i have fixed ssd card over here so i want ssd card in the main storage and hdd i will fix into this caddy okay let's now open this back panel i'm removing all the screws Let me check once whether I have removed all the screws or not. Yes, I've removed all the screws on this panel. So here we will be having three small screws. We need to remove those screws also. For that I am using the small whatever. Which so I've removed all the screws guys. Now we need to remove this uh, panel as you can see from the back side if we do like this it is started opening Opening this panel is a bit difficult guys have to be very careful So finally I made removing this panel easy by using this knife guys now by this help it is coming easily because this thickness is very small compared to the screwdriver which I used to remove this panel. I think almost done. So we can now remove the back panel. So finally after some hard work <laughs> I am able to remove this panel. So as you can see this is the hard drive. So now I need to place the SSD first. We will remove this wire from here. I have separated this.
fixing back this screw guys tightened guys this cable i am keeping back okay fixing ssd and these cables finished guys now my task is to fix this hdd to hdd caddy yes same direction a sound will come like that now we need to tighten this side screws this hdd into hdd caddy is completed guys now we will fix back this panel we need to press to make it align guys everything is fits into it correctly now we need to fix the screws first we need to fix these small screws Now it's the time to fit this caddy guys. So I'm fitting back all the screws. For me this screw and this screw is missed from the beginning itself so fitting screws is completed guys okay now our task is to install fresh uh, OS so I have made this uh, bootable USB guys by using card reader by using my GoPro micro SD card I don't have pen drive so that's why I'm doing like this I didn't turn this on after fixing now I'm going to turn on how it uh, responds I don't know we need to check Okay, installing Windows 10 is initiated. Okay guys, successfully installed Windows 10 Professional. I'll show you the activation also. It is automatically activated guys. As you can see Windows 10 Pro, Windows is activated. You may get Windows Volume 2 and Volume 6 while changing uh, HDD to SSD. Every time you restart the computer, it will ask for the option to choose. To remove that, you need to uh, run the command. Type msconfig, click OK. System configuration will come here. Go to the boot. Now I have, I have already deleted the second option. It will show second windows also. Click that windows 10 and delete that then it will not ask you for option chosen. While coming to the booting option, if you don't know for Dell, press F2 and select uh, boot sequence as uh, UFI, UEFI. Save and exit and uh, again press F12 continuously. From there you can select a uh, USB drive. It automatically goes into the installation page. That's it guys for the video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next vlog. I'll provide the link for the SSD in the description. Check it out.